So in this video we're going to break down this submarine animation in Blender. This submarine has different parts. The main body with side wings. The top part includes the periscope. Lights. Windows. And the fan. It might be easier to join everything into one object. For the material, I used a simple clay material with a displacement modifier. For the middle crown, there are lily pads and the flower. And I use a plane with displacement for the water. In the foreground, there are just these two simple press elements. For the background, you can create this crown and trees. There are also bruises and vines on the trees. You can follow this Geona tutorial for creating the vines. I used two cubes with principal volume material for the volumetric fob. I also create this volumetric light with emission volume. I use dynamic paint for the animation. Set the submarine into brush and the water to canvas. Change the surface type to wave. Then add location keyframe to the submarine. And rotation keyframes to the submarine's fan. Then pick the dynamic paint animation. For the lily pad animation, you can follow this tutorial. Basically, string wrap a plane to the water and then add a copy transform constraint to the lily pad using that plane as the target. I render it as a PNG sequence using cycles, HX, and high contrast colors. Then I reduce the speed by 50% in DaVinci Resolve. In Blender 4.0, you can create a painting style render using the Kuahara filter. I create a separate Blender file to apply the Kuahara filter. Go to the Compositing tab, then add Movie Clip node and locate the file. After that, add the Kuahara filter and a viewer node to view it in real time. Personally, I set the Kuara filter size to 10. Then render it with these settings. That's all for today's video.